Right folks, uh, welcome to Friday morning's lesson. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of work on finance today. All right, I'm on page 97 of uh, the Bahamas today. We're finishing off, um, we're looking at some offshore financial and banking services. Okay, so we look at some of these words, what exactly they mean. I just put in here as well, this is tertiary sector industry. Okay, so again, we've looked through all of our industry. We did our forestry, our fishing, our mining, and our farming. That was all our primary. Okay, then we looked at our different secondary industries, what we produce, okay, uh, bleach and so on and salt and all that. In our tertiary, then the two big ones, the two biggest industries in the Bahamas in terms of tertiary are tourism and finance, okay? Um, they make up to about 90% of our overall uh, GDP and our income, but if you add the two together, okay? So not a lot to cover on this, okay? It is a little bit complicated, so I'll take my time, go through this, and then I've also going to send you a document, okay? It's not an assignment but it is work i want you to do as if you were in class we would have normally covered those questions in class for that reason i'll be pointing out throughout this video where you can find the answers but it covers kind of the key points that you need to know for uh, for going forward okay so um let's have a little look page 97 like i said all right now banking generates income okay so what i need to also explain is when I talk about the tertiary sector here, I'm not talking about the people who sit behind a counter in the bank and so on, all right? These are financial institutions that deal in huge amounts of money, okay? So it obviously generates income or else nobody would be interested, all right? So uh, this is an important aspect of the economy because it generates income. So the first reason it's important to the Bahamas is it gives us loads of money. About 15% of our GDP, like I just said, okay? It employs lots of Bahamians, about 9% of the workforce. That's a huge amount. I know it mightn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot for one industry. And provides financial infrastructure. That is rare in such a small country. Now, when we talk about infrastructure, we're talking about lots of different things. Medical infrastructure would be hospitals, ambulances, uh, access to medicines, stuff like that, okay? Transport infrastructure, roads, bridges, railways, airports, ocean ports, you know, all that. We don't have great infrastructure usually because of our size and location, but actually financial in infrastructure is something we have really, really good, okay? Um, and it connects us to the rest of the world. A lot of financial and banking stuff is done online or over the phone, all right? So actually, we do have good infrastructure. I'll get to that a little bit later on, okay? Uh, now, uh, it's the basis okay, of constitution. So the Bahamas does not have income tax and related or other related tax. Okay, So one of the main reasons why it's been so successful is its basis is constitutional. So the Bahamas does not pay any income tax. All right? There are very few countries in the world like this, Bermuda, Cayman, and so on. All right? So again, I've spoken to you before about the tax system. Where I'm from, all right, once you start earning money, the first maybe eight to 10 to 12,000 pounds or euro is free of tax. So you get to keep all that. But then straight away, once you pass, we call it a threshold, once you pass that figure. So if you earn, if you earn 15,000 pounds one year, let's say the first 10,000 has no tax. The next 5,000 then will have a certain amount and it usually starts at something like 20%. And then once you get past a higher figure, maybe 50,000, anything above that will be at 40%. So it actually adds up, okay? So there's huge money to be made if you can avoid tax. In the constitution here, the Bahamas, we have no import taxes, or sorry, we have no income taxes. And there's other taxes relating to banking that we don't pay. So other countries want to funnel their money through here to avoid paying taxes in their own country. That's kind of what offshore banking is, all right? Right, uh, offshore financial centers have grown rapidly in a variety of countries, all right, so they include BVI, uh, Turks and Caicos, and, and so on, all right, and Cayman. So there's quite a few countries around the Caribbean. The Caribbean is historically famous for offshore banking, or there's phrases like tax avoidance, tax evasion, money laundering, okay, we'll look at those a little bit, a little bit later on in, in this lesson, all right? But I also want to say from the start, as we'll see at the end, 
in the Bahamas and quite a few countries, this has been reduced dramatically. Okay, it doesn't happen as much as it used to since about 2000. Okay, so I'm on the top of page 98. Just turn the page, it's all. All right, so uh, the basic principle for the income tax, okay, is the higher the income, the higher the rate of tax. That's what I was explaining. The more you earn, the more you pay. Now, whilst that might sound really unfair, if you go to Ireland or England or somewhere like that, okay, yes, most Europe, well, especially European countries, yes, we pay a lot of tax. But as I've said to you before, all of my school was free, okay, university is free, you break your leg, you go into the hospital, doctor is free, the surgery is free, everything is free, okay, because every month when you get your paycheck, there's a whack of money gone out of it to the government, all right, and that's income tax. So the higher the rate of tax, all right, now, it should therefore be clear why people with large incomes, remember we said the more you earn, the more you pay in tax, let people with people with large incomes and companies who earn a lot, of money, a lot of money tend to conduct some of their business through offshore centers. It's a legal way to avoid paying some of their taxes and avoid is the key word there. Okay, and I'll show you those definitions in a bit. So obviously if you're paying a lot of tax, you're going to want to try and avoid paying as much as possible. And the Bahamas is a country that offers people from other countries a way of avoiding that. All right, so we're just going to look at that today. So the Bahamas says, look, send all your money over here. And we'll hold it, okay? And we can do whatever we can invest it or spend it somewhere else for you. You won't pay any tax on that, you know, but just give us a little kind of service charge. So that's why it's worth so much money, okay? So first thing is, these are two important words. You need to know these terms. Offshore centers or tax haven, all right? Put question two beside that. This will help you answer question two of uh, the work we're going to do in a little bit. So an offshore business means that the business is done between two countries, but actually takes place in a third country, which neither is a, the provider of the funds or the receiver. All right. So again, you might have a deal between America and France. Okay. Some type of financial tra transaction where they're sending money to each other. And then to avoid all the taxes, it's sent actually to a third country all right recipient so the person or the, the business may actually well this is more about the personal one the person may actually be located in the bahamas okay a typical example is a wealthy person who wishes to avoid personal tax okay so to do that they can know that they can therefore no longer continue to live in a country where income where they're with income tax so whilst there might be a deal between a person in America and a person and a company or a person in France okay one of those people can go and settle in the Bahamas or open another branch of business in the Bahamas and all the money gets sent there okay that it's offshore it's not in either of the countries involved all right so what is a tax haven it's also known as a tax shelter think what those words mean haven and shelter okay so a haven is a safe place from and a tax haven is a safe place from tax, all right? Uh, as the individual is seeking a haven or shelter for his or her wealth, so what they do is the Bahamas would still be called kind of a tax haven because it protects um, people's money, all right? Not as much as it used to, and we'll continue to look at that in the second video now.